Dear fellow business owners, I often get this question from my clients and other business owners. Is the EIDL loan forgivable? I'm going to answer this question in this video. My name is Jainti Kanapati. I'm the owner of Finaccurate. We are an accounting firm based in Boston, Massachusetts. So first of all, what is a EIDL loan? It is the Economic Injury Disaster Loan uh, administered by the uh, Small Business Administration, SBA. And you apply directly for this loan with SBA. And as, pa as part of COVID relief programs, S SBA came up with this uh, special program for, uh, for uh, during pandemic, businesses were impacted, uh, uh, their sales were impacted, they are at least down by 25-30% in sales. They are able to go and apply for this loan to uh, take care of their working capital needs and uh, uh, to help sustain the business uh, while they are impacted by pandemic. So this is something, uh, this loan is something you apply directly with SBA and it's not through, through your bank or any other lender. The application process is directly available in sba.gov and uh, uh, you fill out the application and submit it and uh, uh, you can work directly with SBA to get this loan. And there is a special provision as, as part of the your COVID relief programs uh, 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 in addition to the regular SBA loans. Uh, this is a uh, economic injury related loan and you can get a uh, loan uh, depending on your working capital in your business to uh, cover for uh, either six months or 12 months of your working capital needs. So uh, how and where to apply? Um, so uh, you can go to sba.gov website and you will see on the top of the uh, uh, sba.gov website uh, the link to uh, apply for COVID related programs. So you can follow that link and uh, uh, it will take you through the uh, EIDL loan application process. You can go ahead and apply there. So um, let's address the question that we have here. Uh, is the EIDL loan forgivable? Uh, the reason why people think uh, even the loan is going to be forgiven is because of the uh, Paycheck Protection Program. Because the Paycheck Protection Program is very popular and it's around the uh, it's announced by the government uh, March 2020, and that is uh, is uh, a loan which is forgivable. Initially, it is given as a loan. Later on, you as long as you used it for the specific purposes, then it's forgiven. So that's why uh, people got this confusion. Uh, and uh, they, they are thinking the EIDL, Economic Injury Disaster Loan, is also forgiven as similar to the Paycheck Protection, but it is not. This is the one for the loan program out of the uh, uh, various other COVID relief programs because there are grants, there are tax credits, some uh, forgivable loans, but the EIDL loan is something uh, which is not forgivable, it is not a grant, it's not a tax credit. You get it as a loan, but it is uh, um, the repayment period is uh, 30 years, unlike any other uh, loan that you go with the bank or uh, financial institutions where for businesses you can get about uh, three years, five years, not more than that. So that's the only advantage uh, with the EID loan uh, because the repayment period is 30 years and the interest rate is only 3.75%. So that's the uh, reason you want to take advantage of this loan uh, if you are impacted by your, uh, if your business is impacted and you want you need the funds to uh, sustain and uh, maintain your business so uh, you're not uh, running out of business due to pandemic so that is all that's the reason so the answer is that uh, the eid and loan is not a forgivable loan you, know, you take the loan from sba and uh, the, you you do have a longer uh, time to repay which is 30 years and uh, the interest rate is very low so you do have to start repaying the loan so um, there is uh, a 12 months of uh, deferment and recently SBA extended the deferral to uh, March 2022 as well so you, you don't have to start uh, making the payments right away so you do have the initial deferral period but after that period you will start uh, paying back the loan uh, over the 30 year repayment period. So that's the difference and uh, the, to, uh, to summarize, it is a uh, non-forgivable loan and you do have to start uh, paying, it, paying it back after the end of the uh, deferral period. So um, if, uh, uh, the, uh, let me, I just also want to explain a little bit about uh, the EIDA loan. Now, so if you haven't applied so far, if you're applying for the first time, you never uh, took advantage of this because this loan is uh, around since uh, March 2020. Yeah. So if you haven't already applied, 
this loan is something to go. Like initially, given it was rolled out, it was going to cover only the six months working capital need of the business. Uh, um, but now, very recently, effective uh, April 6th, um, about two weeks ago, um, SBA came up uh, and said, uh, instead of covering six, uh, six months of working capital, we will now cover up to 24 months of capital but the uh, working capital, but there is a cap. So um, if your working capital uh, for uh, 24 months of, um, uh, is uh, more than 500,000, it's going to be capped at 500,000. So the maximum loan you can get through the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program from SBA uh, now is a 500,000. Previously, it was 150,000, irrespective of uh, um, your working capital need. If your working capital need for uh, six months, working capital need is more than six months, you you were capped at 150,000. So um, that uh, um, uh, was increased effective April 6th. Now you can get an additional 350,000 as long as you have the working capital need to, to that uh, uh, max 500,000. So it's either 24 months of working capital or 500,000, whichever is less, is the loan amount that you can get. So there are two scenarios here. Uh, first time uh, um, uh, apply, uh, application. So if you haven't applied uh, for since last year and you're applying for the first time, so if you're applying for the first time, you will automatically be eligible for the increased cap, which is the 500,000 now. So if, if you go ahead and fill out the application in sba.gov, then uh, you, you will automatically get the offer for depending on your uh, 24 months uh, working capital or 500,000, whichever is less. So uh, you, you will get automatic eligibility for the max uh, um, uh, amount. But if you already applied last year, but you only got the 150,000 because of the cap at that time, uh, you can now ask for an increase from 150,000 to 500,000 as long as your working capital log is below that limit. So the way you request an increase is if you already applied last year, by this time you should have received an email from SBA or the loan of the department. They would have sent you an email saying uh, updating you about the latest changes to the cap and uh, they will ask for, for an email from you to specifically request uh, the increase and providing basic information about your previous uh, loan application number, loan number, your uh, business information, your information. With that basic information, you can send the email request to increase uh, the request and increase from 150,000 to 500,000. And once they uh, get that uh, email, now it's been taking uh, two to three weeks for SBA to get back to you on that email and then they will reach out to, to you, respond back to your email with what additional uh, documents needed to uh, get you approved for the uh, increased amount. So that's the entire process uh, with the EID on what it is and uh, how you apply and uh, um, how this is different from PPP and how the idea is not a forgivable loan. You do have to pay it back over a 30 year period and 3.75% uh, interest rate if you are a business uh, for profit. For non-profit organization, it's a 2.75% interest rate. That's the only difference. So um, I hope this answered uh, the burning question a lot of people are, uh, are having and my clients and other business owners are asking. Hope this answered your question. And uh, if you need help uh, with applying for the EID alone, uh, uh, our firm, we have been helping our clients and also a lot of other small business owners to uh, apply for this loan so they can take advantage of it. If you need assistance, uh, uh, please feel free to uh, schedule a uh, free assessment session with me. I, I will uh, drop the link to uh, schedule a meeting with me, a calendar link uh, below this video. You, you can click on that uh, calendar link to schedule a uh, a free assessment session session with me. During that assessment session, we will find out if you are eligible and how much you can get as a loan. And uh, if you are able to help, then we can uh, go, uh, make the determination and we can move forward from that. So feel uh, feel free to schedule that strategy session with me. Uh, we can so we can assess your requirements. Uh, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, uh, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, as we have been sharing so many information about COVID uh, relief related programs and also small business uh, tax saving strategies and uh, bookkeeping strategies. So you will be notified 
uh, when uh, when we produce uh, more videos please make sure to press the bell icon so you will get the notification when we release our future videos if you like this video and found this informa uh, informational please make sure to share this video with your friends or other colleagues you think will benefit from this information thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video